All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And I have no idea what's going on, but I was checking my Discord today and I got a bunch of messages from people asking me who's better for World Boss Ultimate, this guy or Medusa. So we're back with another video on Medusa. As you can see, I've lost a couple ranks. We were 160, now we're 165. People are showing love to the queen, but it is what it is. Let me say this really quickly. Okay, both of these characters are absolutely fantastic. Okay, Hulk is a monster for PvP because of his HP being so high. He can tank like crazy. He has iframe ignore on his third skill, which can basically just instantly clap anyone. Jean Grey include, right? And he's also really good for World Boss. So it really comes down to what you need. If you didn't see my previous video on Medusa, she actually does very well in PvP. Not to the level of the Hulk, okay? Definitely not. But she can definitely hold her own and get a couple kills, which is definitely respectable. However, for World Boss Ultimate, it's a no contest, okay? Medusa hits really, really hard. She was hitting hard at level 60. She was hitting harder than a lot of tier 3s at level 60 if you were maxing out the build and just keeping her at level 60. So it stands to reason that because I've fully awakened her and I've transcended her, that she's gonna hit even harder. I didn't get much time to play with her today. Apologies, I had to go to work and stuff, right? But I did play with her and I'm telling you guys, I will fully awaken this ISO set very, very soon. I will invest as much as I can into Medusa because she's fantastic. If you are looking for a physical attacker for War Boss, look no further, okay? Medusa definitely gets busy. I dropped the rage on her just because we had the discount today where you can remove CTPs for 50% off, 300 crystals. I decided to swap around a bunch of CTPs in my inventory and I just dropped this one on her out of curiosity to see how much better she would be with it. And boy, is she impressive, right? And I think I am just scratching the surface of what she can actually do because like I said, I didn't really get much time to play with her today. So let me just show you guys a quick world boss run here. And then we're going to jump into some giant boss raid. I'm looking forward to um, Galactus, definitely, right? See if we can body that guy. So we're going to jump in here against Corvus, right? And we're going to rock out on 85 using this team right here. Now, keep in mind, Medusa has multiple skills at her disposal that offer defense down. You can see right here on her awakened skill or her transcended skill or whatever you want to call it right she has defense down that applies in world boss and she also has defense down right here on her fourth skill that applies in world boss so when a character has multiple skills that have defense down and they apply in world boss ultimate ideally you want to go with somebody like white fox or maybe dr voodoo however we're going to go with nick fury and colson just because i want to but just keep in mind you'd probably do way better probably go way higher if you just use Voodoo's lead or White Fox's lead. And maybe I'll do that. But what I can definitely tell you is if you just use a standard team like this with just an attack lead and a support, Medusa is gonna get busy, right? I definitely think I have enough DPS to push to like 90, but you know how it goes with this guy, right? You start playing and then he does some shenanigans. He's eye framing like crazy. He's blitzing the whole map and he just makes a big muck of things, right? So I just wanted to show you guys a really quick run here. And this is going to be a casual run. So expect more videos. Expect to see more of Medusa doing some crazy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one thing I have noticed when it comes to Medusa is her awaken skill. It's very easy for people to dodge it. Especially if it's somebody that's really, really annoying like this clown right here that flies around the map a lot. So let's, let's just do that and mess with him. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. What, what are you doing? You were doing something? Oh, wait, he's, he's still like... He still did the most. He's so annoying. All right. This guy canceled out the force skill. Like, so annoying. Like, I literally paralyzed him to try and stop him from doing all the shenanigans that he was going to do. But nope. Still did the most. All right. 
and stay right in front of him and keep him close to a corner so when he slides he just slides right back into a corner it can definitely hurt me if if um <laughs> he just stabs me when my immunity or my invincibility is not up okay we got our friend ignore on the awakened skill you can see the damage is juicy boys the damage on that skill is nutty i'm telling you guys i give it a week before you start seeing people pop up clearing like stage 60 stage 70 maybe even like stage 80 in like one shot just because her damage is so good her damage is really good and you can stack it with the defense down I'm telling you she's tier three level i know they said um the awakened characters are supposed to be like weaker than the tier threes but like for her i don't know if that's gonna be the case yo where's my okay there it is yeah with that kind of burst damage you can see how like a state 70 would definitely get like eviscerated ah oh, come on no he canceled out my four eh? all right so we're gonna go bop bop Woo! <laughs> almost lost fury there lost an eye but it's all good it's just the, the price the price you gotta pay all right ah he got out eh? all right it's cool we're gonna do that let's just mess with him melinda do your thing i summon you cap do your thing i know i'm gonna get somebody in the comment section telling me yo bro you just use fury no oh hold up hold up hold up hold up nice chill Whew, chill oh we lost fury okay cool cool it's fine sad life all right let's let's do this where's my rage proc where's my rage proc where's my i'm so mad this rage proc doesn't want to cooperate oh boy yeah you see what i'm saying this is what i'm saying bro she can do so much more but like when you're doing really well in the game wants you to fail I'm telling you, they place the map, they do like the most amount of extra stuff, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure they code this into the game, bro. Like, this is not just random stuff that's happening right now. Hold on. Like, I am 100% certain that they set it up that when you're doing really well, he just immediately retaliates by doing the most amount of extra stuff. Like, who's supposed to dodge you're gonna die yep there you go um who's supposed to dodge like all those fire attacks like it's just crazy man but yeah there's gonna be that one guy in the comment section saying bro she can do way higher if you give her um white fox leader voodoo leader whatever like i didn't say that at the beginning of the video that she could probably do higher bro i just want to use different teams am i allowed Am I allowed to do different things or, or just be different or try things that I like to try? Am I allowed? Or, or, or not? Nah? Okay, anyways. Ah, come on. That's so annoying. Like, if he... Oh, my gosh. If he didn't do all this extra stuff, like, if he just fought, like, a normal, like, boss, like, he's not normal, but you get what I'm saying? We could have done that so much faster. Like, I cleared this today, like, with, like, a minute to spare. And then I'm trying to show you guys what it is. And then he just does the most amount of extra stuff. So, yeah, I definitely think that even with this exact team comp, if you play properly and he doesn't act like a lunatic, you can probably push to, like, 90. And then with, like, Voodoo or White Fox with an insight on them, you could probably push to, like, maybe 99. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next week or so, and I'm saying people start popping up doing like one shots for these stages because of the defense down if you just get the team comp right. I might try it out myself, but let's go try some GBR action and see what we can do in GBR. It's been a minute. Let's see if somebody's going to kick me out with Medusa. What did I say, guys? What did I say, guys? So this guy is in here with a tier three Sharon Rogers and I come in 
with a transcended Medusa and he kicks me out. Shout out to this guy. Anyways. All right, boys. We made it. Only got kicked once. Well, only because I only gave them the opportunity to kick me once. After that, I made my own goddamn lobby. So we running with the hoax. Look at him. Look at him. Big and bad as ever. You know what? We should just use the awakened skill. No sense saving it. Might as well just get the attack buff from it. No defense down in here to skew things. Should be interesting, right? All my skills are just on cooldown, though. Bro, is the Hulk just doing all the damage? Bro. Bro, Zoro, can you chill? You my guy, but can you chill, fam? Can you let me flex with the queen? Like, can you chill, fam? Alright, let's use the awakened skill. Yo, Zoro, you too OP, fam. You and the next guy. I don't know if he's on my friends list or not. I don't recognize the name. I did hit up a couple people from my friends list, but I also made it public after they didn't respond fast enough. Yo, Medusa! Hitting harder than a shot at Duce! Look at that, boys. 40, 40 million in one minute and 12 seconds. I'm looking forward to Galactus. That boy gonna get his ass whooped because she's universal. And universal characters do extra damage against Galactus. So you might be looking at a world boss killer and a giant boss raid slayer with some PvP potential. Need I say more? Bow down to the queen. The build is not even done yet, fellas. Medusa out here flexing on the Hulk. It's crazy. I didn't even know that was going to happen at the end there, right? Where we get to go up against the Hulk. She might actually be better than the Hulk for PvE content, regardless of whether or not defense down is in the equation. I definitely got to try her against Thanos. See how high she can go when she doesn't get to manipulate defense down. But a part of that has to do with the fact that she also has damage accumulation. And he don't. Again, that's a sore spot for a lot of us. I'm going to wrap it here, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, stay safe. And I'll catch you guys. Still waiting on Black Bull's potential, by the way, okay? I'll get to it as soon as I can. Trust me, boys. RNG giving me that 4% drip. It be like that. I'm gone. Peace.